Adele is pausing her Vegas residency, and Taylor Swift made what for the Chiefs offensive line? Hi, welcome back to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines, entertainment, and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell, and let's just get right into the show. So, first thing is first, some sad news for all my Adele fans out there. All the people that were planning to see Adele over the next month in Las Vegas, the pop star has announced that she's having to postpone a number of shows for the next month or so due to an illness. This is, my heart goes out to anyone who was planning to see Adele because not only does it suck to have your favorite artist postpone a show, especially when you're planning to go, but the unfortunate part of it is many of the dates are like right around the corner. And so I have to assume that these fans had hotels paid for, flights paid for, were excited about it and may not get to change their plans. So here's what happened. Adele posted on social media on Tuesday, revealing that she's going to have to take a break for the next month because of an illness. Here's what she said on social media. I will read her post. Sadly, I have to take a beat and pause my Vegas residency. I was sick at the end of the last leg and all the way through my break. She also added that she hasn't quite gotten the chance to get back to full health before her new shows resumed. So on doctor's orders, I have no choice but to rest thoroughly. The remaining five weekends of this leg are being postponed to a later date. We are already working out the details and we'll and, and you will be sent the information ASAP. So those dates are, as I mentioned, it's it's also for this weekend. Postponed dates are March 1st, 2nd, 8th, 9th, 15th, 16th, 22nd, 23rd, 29th, and 30th. So basically, again, the whole month of March. I have to imagine Adele feels absolutely terrible to have to postpone the show. I don't think any artist wants to postpone because, again, as I mentioned earlier, these fans... I mean, the fact of the matter is, if a artist is touring a country, right, and they're going from city to city, you can assume that a good chunk of those people that you're playing to, let's say in Dallas, are from the Dallas region, right? Yes, maybe they drove in, maybe they got a hotel room, but a large chunk of those people are probably from somewhere in the Dallas region. And if you postpone, they didn't have to pay for travel. They'll just go to the show the next time that the artist comes around. But because Adele plays in Vegas, I think a majority of those fans that go see her are probably traveling from out of the state, out of Vegas. And like I said, paying for hotels, paying for flights, that the whole thing. Um, and so, yes, maybe they could still go to Vegas, have a great time, but if they wanna go back and see Adele when she reschedules, they're gonna have to do it all over again. So a bit of a, a, bit of a bummer, but obviously out of Adele's control, Nothing that she can do about, about being sick. And obviously, I don't think any her, I mean, this sounds obvious, but it's really true in the case of her. Her voice is like the most important part of why you go to see Adele. It's because she just has such an amazing voice. And so if her voice is not perfect and it's not the way that she wants it to be, then it probably wouldn't be a great experience for the fans there anyway. So... Hoping Adele gets the rest that she deserves and she recovers and that she makes it back for her residency and that those fans get to go because um, everyone should get to see Adele in their lifetime. I got to see Adele for my 23rd birthday many years ago and it was one of the best concerts of my life. She is obviously an amazing performer, but she's also incredibly funny. She genuinely is like a comedian on stage telling stories, telling jokes. She's fantastic. So if you ever get the chance to see Adele, highly recommend. Okay, moving on to our next story. Another Taylor Swift story. I'm sure lots of people are like, Taylor Swift again, but guys, this this person, she is dominating the news. There is not a day that goes by where Taylor Swift is not a trending topic, a trending story. It just is what it is. And I love Taylor Swift, so I'm gonna keep talking about her until the, the news decides that <laughs> she's not worth talking about anymore. So we have known that Taylor Swift loves to bake. But as it turns out, she also has loved to bake for Travis Kelsey's Chiefs teammates. Coach Andy Reid revealed earlier this week that Taylor Swift made homemade Pop-Tarts for not Travis Kelsey, 
but for the Chiefs offensive linemen, which is just incredible. So as I mentioned, Andy Reid was doing an interview this past week during the NFL Combine, and he was asked about Taylor Swift. And Andy Reid always handles these questions about Taylor Swift very, very well. He he doesn't seem too irritated, and he, he seems to enjoy talking about her. Um, and yes, he revealed that she likes to cook, and she made these Pop-Tarts for for the Chiefs offensive linemen. He did reveal that um, he did not get to try these, these Pop-Tarts, um, but I think he probably appreciated the fact, and I'm, I'm sure lots of the Chiefs teammates appreciated the fact that Taylor was not only, you know, supporting Travis, but she was supporting the entire team. Um, and I just want to know from the offensive linemen, how were the Pop-Tarts? Were they good? Also, did the defensive linemen, did, did the defense feel slighted that they didn't get anything from, from Taylor Swift? Um, did she hand out these Pop-Tarts as a reward for like a good game? I'm curious to know what made her decide to give them out. If you know anything about football, you probably know that the quarterbacks for every team every Christmas tend to gift their offensive linemen because the offensive linemen are the ones that protect the quarterback. They tend to give their offensive linemen these really lavish gifts. For example, this year, Patrick Mahomes gave his offensive linemen golf carts. Sometimes quarterbacks will give their offensive linemen like really fancy watches or Louis Vuitton bags, just like a big thank you for keeping them safe and protecting them throughout the year, even though sometimes they don't deserve it, honestly. Um, and so I wonder if Taylor Swift knew that or was told that, that like it's a thing that people give gifts to the offensive linemen. And she was like, well, I should give them gifts too. Um, and this just really solidifies the fact that like, this is, this is giving, Taylor Swift giving Chiefs offensive linemen Pop-Tarts is like when the mom brings the orange slices and the Capri Sun to the soccer game, you know, and just, it just keeps morale high. Sugar makes people feel good. And I just think it's amazing. Like even professional athletes need their sweet treats at the end of the day. All right, guys, that's our show for today. Not a lot to talk about, but Adele Taylor Swift, pop star queens. So, you know, what, what more could you want? Let us know in the comments what you think of Adele's Vegas postponement, Taylor Swift's baking skills. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.